Lewis Richardson, 23 years old, defeated Victor Yoka, brother of Tony Yoka, gold medalist from Rio 2016 at super heavyweight. Victor was beaten on a unanimous decision, took a standing count in round two against Lewis Richardson. Richardson faces a far, far tougher task here. Yes. Up against Alexander Kizniak, the number two seed. He stopped Cameron Shaksuvali of Azerbaijan in round one of their opening contest in London. Kizniak, the 2017 world champion, didn't go to the 29, 2019 world championships in Russia, but he did win the European Games that year. And he is a fearsome prospect. He is being talked about in terms of the great Ukrainian boxers we've seen, like Alexander Usyk, Vladimir Klitschko, of course. Evgeny Lomachenko yeah. and Kizniak. He actually lost to a British boxer in the qualifiers for Rio, Joshua Bwatsi, who went on to win a bronze medal. And Kizniak also lost in the box-off to a Turkish boxer, Nadir Unal. But he's been beaten very few times since he won the Stranger Tournament in February, and he is all action. He has thunder, and Richardson would do well to, I'm um, sure, uh, he's aware what he's in the ring with. Big punches already landing from Kizniak. Richardson already looking like this might be a tough ask for him. Yes. He has a height advantage, but Kizniak just pouring forward. It's a big left from Kizniak. Richardson trying to land the uppercut, and that was a good couple of yeah. straight long shots Better. from Better. Richardson. And he's not acquitting himself badly so no. far, the Briton. Not at all. <laughs> but it's that right, right punch from Richardson. anywhere at any time <laughs> that he has to watch out for. <laughs> oh, that Paul left Richardson. hook caught him on the chin. Already that nose of Richardson's looking red. He is trying to use that jab from the southpaw stance. And that was very nice from Richardson. Just give and go. <laughs> Thudding right hand from Kizniak into the temple. Yeah, uh, Richardson is... Uh... He's doing his best to fend off the raging bull at, at this point. This is impressive from yes, it Richardson. Is. It is. All of a sudden, Kishniak is missing quite a bit. It doesn't take much. I'll be very interested to see how the judges saw this because, uh, it's a lot closer than it started. Well, interesting first round. Yes. Kizniak is going to follow the likes of Alexander Usyk and Vasil Lomachenko as an Olympic gold medalist. Probably needs to be a bit smarter than this. He seemed to walk right in uh, to several. But, uh, you know, sometimes when you have that kind of power and you're you want to in, in, impose your will early. You, you know, sometimes it's not the best tactic, but we'll see what his corner says to him. 
four judges giving it to Kizniak, one to Richardson. Hmm. I, I think on balance that's about right. Maybe it could have been 3-2. I think Richardson will take some confidence from that round, yes. though, because he got hit, he took Kizniak's shots well, and he fired back, particularly in the second half of that round. One, two. Right, but he has to find a way to win rounds. Somehow withstand this barrage from the Ukrainian. Oh, that was a left big left, left from Kizhnyak. <laughs> Richardson all of a sudden is not really sticking that left out there. He's got to there try and keep Kizhnyak at range. Yes. There's the right counter from Kizhnyak. But Richardson is taking these shots well. Oh, that was a good left uppercut. Kizhniak firing back. To be fair, Kizhniak can take a punch too. Certainly can. Standing eight? Standing eight. Didn't that, see that looks harsh. Didn't see it. Although not much protest. He has taken some good shots, but didn't seem to be the trigger for a standing eight. No. And that means Richardson has a huge task now get back into this. That was a good right from Richardson. Stopped Kizhniak in his tracks momentarily. Hard left hits the target from Kizhniak. Richardson has really fought a good pound. Good uppercut, uppercut from Richardson. It, it doesn't back Kishniak off at all. Train was coming at him. He'd probably try and run <laughs> through it, wouldn't he? <laughs> he is relentless. Richardson having some joy yeah. here. Yes, he is. And he's slipping some of those mighty uh, hooks. But again, you know, if is he acquitting himself well? Yes. Is he winning the fight? No. That's exactly it. Boy, those are furious. He's ducking them nicely, but let's see what uh, what we have here. Blowing hard at the end of round two, yes. Alexander Kizhniak. There's plenty to like about Lewis Richardson and his work. Yes. It's just unfortunate he has to face Kizhniak at this stage. Yes. But I didn't, you know, the standing eight, maybe we're getting a look at one of those highlights, but I, I, maybe it was cumulative, but I didn't know that that's how they did it. <laughs> There was no one no. power punch that seemed to warrant that intervention by the referee. But Richardson didn't protest much. Kizhniak taking the round 10 to 9. Which included the standing Which eight. the standing eight, so that's interesting. What it means is that Kizhniak is ahead on four judges' scorecards by two points. So Richardson needs something very special in this final round. Well, I would say Kishniak will give him the chance because he's going to keep coming and, and you know, he's, he's shown he doesn't mind taking a punch. So you know, Richardson can try to load up, but in the meantime, you have to watch out for that branch coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, we spoke about Kizhniak before this yes. evening. And in my mind, he was 
the hot favourite for this and, and, and a strong favourite for gold. But he has shown weaknesses here. Well, he's taking a lot of shots. And, you know, that's part of his, his prowess is that he can take punches. But I, I thought we would see him try to move away a little bit more, slip punches. But maybe he just doesn't think uh, Richardson can hurt him. Sure, there'll be other boxers from other continents who have already qualified for Tokyo watching this. Yes. And they'll be very interested to see. And I think this performance from Kizniak, I don't know, I, I, just, I just feel like he, he is quite one-dimensional. He's very powerful and strong, and his punches carry some weight, but... Oh, boy. He's got Richardson rocking here. Yeah, I'd be interested to see against a big puncher if he can if he does this same tactic or if he really believes that he's not afraid of, of this guy. Yeah, he's starting oh, he's, to... Yeah, he's putting them together way. now, yeah. working the body... Very hard to get anything going against a box like right. Pizniak because he just keeps coming at you. Right. You need to have very, very fast hands. Richardson does have those, but just unable to sustain an attack. He's done well. It's just, as you said, he um, has to constantly back away because of the oncoming train. He's still bringing some power there. Yeah, it's been a good contest, this. Yeah. It's been a really yeah. good bout. Richardson has acquitted himself very well. Kizniak is going to get the decision, trying to put an exclamation mark on it yeah. with a late stoppage, perhaps, but he's throwing for again. all he's worth. And I'll, I'll, I dare say that Lewis Richardson performed well, and I'm wondering if uh, the Swede, Chartoy, can do the same. I, I don't know. I... I think Kizniak will find this harder than yes. Chartoy, yes. based on what we've seen. Yes. So the number two seed, certainly not having things his own way here. No. Lewis Richardson giving him a lot to think about, but Kizniak will be going through, just await the verdict from the five judges. He is relentless, though. And he's shown today, again, he can take a punch. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Unanimous points decision. No great surprise, but certainly a few unexpected scares there for Kizniak, who took a fair few punches, was made to look... A little pedestrian at yeah. times, but he just Agreed. kept coming forward. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's another gear or if he has another dimension. You know, we, we saw uh, the Irish woman, uh, Kelly Harrington, you know, have two different leads in the same fight, and it worked very well. She was changing things up. Interested to see what Kizniak has in the way of adjustments. Should he need them? <laughs> Should he need them? One more win for Kizniak, and he'll be going to Tokyo. Chance to right the wrongs of missing out on Rio five yes. years ago. Tom, been great having you Enjoyed with us. It. And 11 bouts down today, 22 in total on ring B. Plenty more to come tomorrow.